It is the time of year when new cell phone models come out. Samsung just launched its Galaxy Note 20s, the iPhone 12 anticipated in October. They have fancy features and price tags to match, but if paying a small fortune for the latest tech isn't for you, 12 on your side's Marilyn Moritz has some options. Introducing Galaxy S20 Ultra. At $1,400, this Samsung phone also has an ultra price tag. So does Apple's iPhone 11 Pro Max at $1,100. Both models are newer and highly rated. But do you really have to spend more than $1,000 for a great phone? Absolutely not. CR's Bree Fowler says there are less expensive options. While these phones may not have the fanciest cameras or the fastest processors, for a lot of people, they're still good options. Take the iPhone 10R. It has a sharp screen and very good camera. But now that it's two years old, it's cheaper than ever. At $600, it's a CR Best Buy. Same for the Samsung Galaxy S10. It's been out for more than a year and is now $750, $150 less than when it launched. You can also save money by shopping a lesser known brand like Google or OnePlus. Or think about buying a used phone or one that's refurbished. Like anything you buy used, you want to make sure you know what you're getting. For instance, does it come with a charger or is the screen cracked? If you buy refurbished from Apple or Samsung, you might pay more, but you'll get a phone that's just like new. It may even have a brand new battery, shell, and accessories. And both companies provide a one-year warranty. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News.